Here we go, guys. T minus 10 seconds. T minus 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> it's off the pad. <laughs> We have nothing on tracking yet. There it is. Four's got it. Oh, ho, ho, ho. get ready. We're going to hear it here soon. I don't think we're going to see anything here tonight. Unfortunately, it's just too foggy, but four's got it. Oh, I hear it now. Oh man, unfortunately it's just simply too too foggy here to see anything. But we hear it very faintly, we hear it. But so far everything is looking great on that tracking cam. We're at max key. Yes. <laughs> oh baby, look at that, it's looking beautiful. Ho <laughs> ho I can still hear it. Yes, Firefly, good job guys, this is awesome. Very faint rumble here in Vandenberg as the vehicle continues to ascend. All things looking good. We're coming up on the end of the first stage burn. So the next milestone we're going to be looking for is going to be Miko. So main engine cutoff. All four of those reavers are hopefully going to be shutting down here uh, just in a couple seconds here. And then then it'll be a stage separation and second stage engine ignition with that lightning engine. I told you guys, it's October. <laughs> Launchtober, baby. This is awesome. This is great for the teams. Look at that thing just flying fantastic. You can actually see the plume expanding because of the vacuum of space. Makes it so there's a, the, the, the exhaust plume just has no, you know, no air compressing against it. So we're coming up here. Oh, there is Miko. Main engine cutoff. That looks like second stage ignition. You can even see the booster getting pushed back from the second stage. That looks good. I don't know if we have an onboard. We do have an onboard camera. Yes, that is good. Yes, and that is Los Angeles down there in the right and the coast of California. Look at that lightning engine firing in space. Tap off power, baby. This is some history right here. Oh my gosh, that is fantastic. Tracking cameras out here with the 30th doing fantastic work. Oh, man, this is just wonderful. The next thing we're going to be seeing, hopefully, is fairing separation. And that might have been what we just saw. You can see the two fairing halves on our screen right there. That looks like, to me, hopefully good payload fairing separation. That is just awesome. Sorry that the downlink here might not be fantastic, as we mentioned. They are working with quite a limited, but there, that tracking shot is sure showing us something. Okay, I'm going to sit down here. I am. <laughs> this is awesome. This is great, great, great work from the teams. This is huge. Again, their milestones, I mean, they're checking stuff off that list that they wanted to see. And boy, oh boy, are they seeing it right now. This is absolutely fantastic. This just brings me so much joy to see. I mean, this is not easy. <laughs> I can't wait to see our high speed of this stuff, Ryan. This is going to be fantastic. This is some history here. Man, remember, if you are along in California, if you're in Los Angeles, if you're in somewhere where it's not foggy, it's too foggy for us here, but if, you are, uh, if you're out there in California... Look west, decent chance you'll actually see it. You know, this is a kerosene engine. This is RP-1 Carolox. It actually burns quite, quite bright. Decent chance you'd actually see it flying tonight. I'm excited to see, um, you know, Scott Manley mentioned that from, from San Francisco, he was seeing clear skies up there. He's able to actually capture some, some of that stuff uh, 
you know, when, when lo rockets launch out here from the West Coast, everything's still looking good. Um, I don't know if we're able to play Mission Control, but I am curious if we have any updates. Um, it's instead of just me looking at the screen going, I, <laughs> things are still happening, but that is the status on my end. I'm seeing what you guys are seeing, and it looks like a fantastic second stage burn with that lightning engine. That is just awesome. And remember, of course, you know, getting into orbit isn't just about going up. You know, if you go up, you're going to just come right back down. You know, if you want to go to space, you go up. You can <laughs> you can cross the Kármán line at 100 kilometers in altitude, and you're just going to come right back down. But if to, in order to stay in space, you really have to get that velocity up high enough. You know, imagine shooting like a, you know, a cannonball. If you shoot it, you know, even a high-powered rifle, it's going to eventually come in contact with the ground. You know, not only is it getting slowed down by T the plus atmosphere. Six minutes. T plus six minutes. Yep, callouts are still good. Oh, baby, this is just awesome. Oh, man. So uh, <laughs> I realized we lost our audio probably because we, we did lose the camera. I mean, we might have lost it, lost it, but, you know, it might have got unplugged or something. <laughs> oh, sorry. I'm just giddy right now. This is fantastic. Right at the top of the window, too. Right, 1201. This is awesome. This is awesome. Again, I'm already just huge congratulations to the teams here. At Firefly, this is absolutely incredible. We it's so fun to be here and actually able to help capture history and share it with you guys. TRS LOS expected in 60 seconds. Hawaii AUS expected after a two-minute loss of telemetry between stations. So that's because this rocket is flying away from ground stations. It's flying relative 137 T plus seven minutes. 137 degree inclination. They are expecting to lose telemetry with the rocket for a brief period of time. So they're coming up on that period where they're expecting to lose. Uh, just lose telemetry for a little bit here. And then hopefully they'll pick it back up in two minutes with a, a Hawaii ground tracking station. So that is expected. That'll be, um, but second stage cutoff is coming up here it's in about 15 seconds already. Seven minutes and 40 seconds. Seco. Seco. <laughs> now we'll have to wait. I bet we'll have to wait two minutes. On C1. Orbit achieved. Alpha is in the block. Yes! <laughs> Show mission control. I got to see him. <laughs> yes! Eight minutes. BTRS 44 Bravo. Yes! Hello, 